Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Russ back again with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team. Or no, wait, wait, wait. This is not Ultimate Team. This is Career Mode. It has been a while since I've actually touched this Career Mode series, man. Um, I had about four or five episodes that I did not edit um, before I actually went on my little break or hiatus for almost three months. And I edited them up uh, probably two days ago or so, and I didn't commentate them till now. So I'm ready to go ahead and get back into this series, man. I'm sorry that um, I did not jump back into it right away i don't know how big the audience is for career mode anymore but i did go ahead and move um the quarter length in this series from five to three kind of just to make these episodes more compact because they ended up being a little bit lengthier than i wanted for these for this career mode kind of side series that i'm doing um and considering that we're pretty much passing every play and this is not really a realistic type series it really doesn't matter what the quarter length is. The computer kind of adjusts to what um, your quarter length is. And with, with it being at 5 in career mode, 5 and 3 doesn't make all that big of a difference when you're really not running the ball at all. And we're not. So we're just going to continue to pass, continue to run our offense, and conti uh, continue to play it like we have the entire series. As Danny Amendola is going to continue to play or continue to play the way he has the entire series as well as he just keeps breaking tackles and making plays. I don't know how that dude does it, but Danny Amendola keeps playing like a beast for us. Right there, we rush for six yards. Very, very rarely will you guys see us run, uh, run the ball with our quarterback. We do not run the ball very often, and that is for good reason. We have no, and I mean no speed absolutely zero we cannot run the ball to save our fucking lives right there we fire it to the back of the end zone and Devonte parker you gotta get your feet in bro i mean come on that was right to the back of the end zone it looked perfect and unfortunately we cannot get it we have to settle for the field goal so that does make it seven to three we get the ball back and i don't think they scored i believe we were already down seven nothing before we took that field goal so now we get the ball back we're looking at triangle i don't know why i threw that um, or didn't throw that earlier, but instead we wait way too late, but he ends up catching it anyway because for some reason Danny Amendola is God for us. It doesn't make any sense, but he is uh, right there. We tried to go to, I think that was Danny Amendola again, and he ends up dropping it, unfortunately. Second and 10, looking over the middle, we find Amendola once again. Six for nine for 97 yards. Not bad. Definitely a better start than a lot of our previous games. We find Amendola once again. Jesus, this dude just makes play after play after play. Seven for 10. We're looking again. Oh, man. That looked good from the start, man. We had Gesicki wide open, but Kwiatkowski, what a play. Or I, I, That's crazy. I don't know how the hell he played that, but he did. He ended up jumping right in front of the tight end, and uh, that's unfortunate, man. So 7-3, to three, our defense ends up stopping him once again, so that's good. Kenyon Drake, the ghost, ends up making an appearance and getting us to midfield on a catch. He does not run the ball for us very often and most likely will block for us, but, you know, of course, occasionally he will get that catch, and he might need to catch the ball more considering that Devontae Parker um, does not want to catch the ball, which is very, very unfortunate because he is the receiver that I have been waiting the most to break out, and unfortunately, he just continues to be a shadow underneath Danny Amendola. Third and 13, we throw the ball to Danny, uh, Danny Amendola on cue, but unfortunately, he gets big hit and does drop it with seven seconds left in the second quarter. So we do punt, and we go into halftime down 7-3. to three. We can just not score. You know, we're getting down the field. We just can't score man you know obviously we threw a pick in the red zone we go deep right here it looks good and thank you Devonte parker finally man making the catch at the 31 yard line we needed that huge man i mean absolutely huge we were not getting anything going and we needed that huge play we get danny amendola again of course the surefire target for us um the guy that seems to catch almost everything as we try to hit him again he was wide open but of course we miss it because our guy's accuracy is zero we definitely need to get our accuracy up as we throw another interception and it is again to Kwiatkowski. this guy is killing us man two interceptions i don't even know who this is i haven't even heard his name throughout the entire regular season and the regular season's over so who the hell is this dude i don't even know but he has two picks on us man Devonte parker nice catch over in the middle ends up getting us to the 44 yard line my computer making noises looking downfield right now man we have everything going downfield we chuck it up and that was just bad oh Three interceptions on the game, and this is just brutal right now. The nightmare in New England. It is real. First and 10, running the ball. We're still only down 7-3. to three. Our defense continues to stop Tom Brady and their offense. I don't get it, but they continue to stop them. 13 for 22. If we can just get our head out of our ass, we can actually do something here. Looking downfield, nothing is open. We chuck it up anyway. <sighs> Another interception. 
Fortunately, we do tackle them at the one, get them stuck at the one so they do not have the chance to score, but we have one more chance. One last chance, man. Four interceptions in, no touchdowns, seven to three. Can we be great? A minute 39, our last chance, no timeouts. This is it, man. Third and 10, we need to get a first down right now, and we do. Danny Amendola, surefire hands, of course, all the time, all season long. He has done it, getting a first down to the 40-yard line. We find Frank Gore. Uh, he's pretty useless in Madden, man. He's still fine in real life for how old he is, but goddamn in Madden, he is useless. Right there, we had circle wide open. Instead, we go to Danny Amendola for obvious reasons because he's the only guy that, consist that can consistently catch, but unfortunately, we missed the mark. Third and nine, looking for a tight end. We find him, Gesicki over the middle to the 26-yard line. No timeouts. We do have to go ahead and hurry the ball up to the line. I said that really weird. My bad. 26-yard line. We almost get sacked, but we barely get it off. 16 for 30, man. Barely over 50% completion percentage, just been a train wreck so far, but we find Kenyon Drake, the ghost, as he fights into the end zone for the touchdown with 41 seconds left. We fight our way down the field. Our best drive of the game comes at the most opportune time. Thank goodness we at least put some points on the board and give our chance a team to win. Thank you, Lord. Tom Brady put up seven points in the first quarter. Has not done shit since. We needed to do something, man. You don't just get that gift. That doesn't just happen. We needed to make it happen. Kenyon Drake, you guys see all the replays. Pushed his way through two Patriots at least, almost three, to get the first down. And we end up getting the ball back. Our defense holds. Tom Brady is stopped. But they do have three timeouts still. So 20 seconds left. Trying to run this clock out. We need a first down. We need one play. We need one run, and we end up winning this game. We decide to pass, but my, my goal was to not pass for a first down. It was either an easy toss for a first or a run, and we end up getting it with our quarterback right there. 11 seconds left. No timeouts. We can come out in victory formation, and we do end up winning 10-7 to against the New England Patriots. Who would have thunk it, man? The nightmare in New England. It was a nightmare, but somehow we come out of it with a win. I don't get it, but it happened, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. One second left in this game. It finally runs out. 10-7 to 7 is the final. We got our ripoff. Bill Belichick, I don't even know who that dude is. But you see us pounding our chest the way on our way to the middle of the field to shake Tom Brady's hand. And he is pissed. My goodness. I mean, I would be too. You're losing to our sorry-ass team. We ain't good, man. We're pretty bad. And you lost to us. I mean, you should be a little bit sad, Brady. Sorry, man. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you're the GOAT in real life, but for real. I mean, just, I'm sorry. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this career mode series. Obviously, it has been a while since I uploaded an episode, but hopefully you guys are excited for episodes to come, and hopefully we can make a playoff run, man. I'm excited. Hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, I'm out. Peace.